Watch the entire video, don't be a bitch. You know, when I was planning out what I was gonna say in this video, I thought I was gonna make a few enemies, maybe. You know, possibly cause some people to unsubscribe, cause some people to get mad, get all types of butt hurt. But then I realized, most people that watch this channel are not dumb motherfuckers like 99% of the Call of Duty community is. So therefore, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. You guys heard the news already. Activision made $800 million just in the last three months alone off microtransactions. Good. Good. This is good news, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why right now. I'm gonna tell you why it's good news. But first, before I get into that, can we just talk about how cringy it's been the last whatever it's been the last week watching these grown ass men, these grown adult men, not boys, not kids, not teenagers. They are grown men crying about how a publicly traded company made money for their shareholders. Like. This isn't going to be one of those videos where we're just making fun of people, but like I watched Prestigious Keys video right after that news was announced and oh my God, dude, I was like, I was uncomfortable watching that shit, you know, and I'm a fan of his channel too, by the way, this isn't any jab at him, but a grown man getting upset and like throwing a shit fit over just a company announcing their earnings. Like, oh my God, dude, you think the fucking sky was falling down? Yes, Activision made a killer profit. They did their job. They did exactly what they were supposed to do and they did exactly what every single one of us was expecting them to. To do so a I don't know why it's coming as such a shock to some people out there but also be more importantly just wh why are you getting so mad at this why are there people out there that's rhetorical by the way but why are people out there just expecting any differently predatory and you know I don't even like to use that word right but a lot of youtubers use that word they say predatory microtransactions but Predatory microtransactions are just a part of video games. Every single game has them. Maybe some games have them worse than others, but for the most part, you are not going to find a video game today. You're just not. You won't find a game today with no monetization in game. So there are two reactions that you can have to that. You can either get mad and butt hurt, like all the crying butt hurt Call of Duty YouTubers with over a million subscribers, or concurrently, you could take the approach that I take to it by simply saying, who gives a fuck, right? We're gonna have weapons in the game that we don't have access to. It's really not that big of a deal, man. Like, there are so many other weapons in the game to use. Who cares, right? Who cares? If I get lucky and just happen to get, you know, a weapon out of a supply drop or something like that, then I guess I just got lucky, man. And I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying it's right. But I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm a grown man with a house, a family, a career, a wife. And I just really simply don't have the time or the energy to be sitting here fucking worried about video games and how they're selling stuff. I said this back in a video a while ago, man. I'm done being mad about video games. I'm done. We're just gonna play the games and we're gonna shut up and we're gonna enjoy it. They're gonna be fun. They're good games and everything is gonna be fine. And that's just me. That's my approach. That's how I feel like it. But I feel like a lot of you guys out there in the comments below, what I read from you guys in my videos are probably going to take the exact same approach. You just gotta laugh it off after a while and go on about your life. The world will keep spinning if you don't have a weapon in Call of Duty. So not only am I not upset about 800 million dollars in revenue in the last quarter for Activision. I'm happy about it. You know why you should be happy about it too? Because dumb ass kids are out there spending their money, spending one dollar on a reticle, and you're not doing it, yet you get to reap the benefits of all the money that they spend that you don't. One of my favorite YouTubers said this recently. I hope you're watching this video, by the way. He said, smart people will always find a way to take advantage of dumb people, and that is true. That's why some people get rich and most people don't, because most people are dumb and only some people are smart. So if myself and you guys out in the audience watching this video as smart people, right? We don't buy microtransactions in COD. We just play the game and let the other people spend their money on it and give them the $800 million. That right there sends one message to Activision and the message is, hey, we can make a ton of money off of these things and therefore we can retire some of the older outdated things. So this is what I'm talking about right here. If you are a person out there watching this video and you were excited for Modern Warfare because Modern Warfare has free DLC, you could thank any person person that bought a supply drop or bought COD points or spent any money whatsoever on microtransactions because you reap the benefit of it, right? You get the free DLC next year also, but you didn't even have to pay extra to get that. Other people are doing the work for you. So therefore, yes, I'm happy. I'm happy they made 800 million. I hope they make more next quarter, man. Let me give you another example right here, okay? Maybe this way will make a little bit more sense, okay? Say you're going out to eat with the squad, right? The whole squad's there, everyone's got their girlfriend, you got like 20 people all going out for a big ass meal. You're looking at the menu and you know you only want to get one slice of pizza, that's all you want. You don't want a drink, 
You don't want any appetizers. You don't want any other food except a single slice of pizza. But then your squad starts acting all stupid and they start saying, hey, why don't we get some appetizers? You know, let's, let's get some beers. Let's get some drinks. Get a couple of rounds of shots and get some appetizers and then we'll get some dessert after. When it comes time to split the check, you're pissed off, right? Because you only wanted one slice of pizza. You only ate one slice of pizza. But when you split that check evenly, you are paying the exact same amount as the guy who had an appetizer, who had a slice of pizza, who had a beer, who had a shot, and then ate dessert after. That's not fair, is it? No, of course it's not fucking fair, dude. But guess who wins and guess who loses in that situation? That's right, you're the loser and the other guy's the winner. If you didn't spend any money whatsoever on microtransactions, you are now the winner. Doesn't it feel good to be a winner now, right? Doesn't it just feel better to be on the other side of that, the side that benefits more? You paid less and you're getting more, man. I couldn't I couldn't be happier that Activision made this much money. I hope they make more next year. So I felt the need to get this off my chest, man. I've just been seeing so many videos of people so upset about this number. I personally think it's a really good thing. And honestly, man, let's face it. 99% of the people who watch YouTube don't spend money on microtransactions anyway. The vast majority of these sales can came from dudes that aren't even aware that there's a YouTube world for video games. You know, it's probably dudes that play like once or twice a week. It's dudes that have like a level 36 non-prestige account. They'll never prestige. They're just extremely casual players and they just don't care. They probably forgot they spent that money in the first place. I say, let them spend it. But as usual, I want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you agree with me or you think I'm a complete ass after this. And as usual, we'll get a conversation going. I thank you guys all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing content just like this. Follow me on Twitter. The link is down below and I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you. Bye.